Welcome Bearcats, back to Jackson Square. We're going to be looking at comparing products and factors. Comparing products and factors. On last week, we talked about what happens to the product when it is multiplied by a improper fraction or if it's multiplied by a proper fraction or if we multiply two improper fractions together or two proper fractions. And we just want to go back and remind ourselves what happens when we do this. So for example, when I multiply two times eight sevenths, which eight seventh is a improper fraction, it says when multiply a number by a fraction in which the numerator is larger than the denominator, that's what an improper fraction is, the value of the quantity will increase. What does that mean? That means that when I multiply two times eight sevenths, my product is gonna be greater than my initial quantity of two. If I multiply one half times six fifths, my products, the answer to the multiplication problem is gonna be greater than one half. And I have a little trick that I use. Whenever I'm multiplying by an improper fraction, I like to say it's an II, which means improper, my answer is going to increase. Improper yields an increase in answer. So II. Here, we are multiplying by a proper fraction, and it has a difference. It is creating a difference in the product. Something different will happen. When multiplying a quantity by a fraction in which the numerator is smaller than the denominator, which means it's a proper fraction, the numerator is smaller than the denominator, the value of the quantity will decrease the value of the quantity will decrease. Again, what does that mean? That means the product is going to be less than three. The product of this one the, would be less than one half. When I multiply a quantity by a proper fraction, a fr proper fraction is a fraction that is smaller than one, in between zero and one, my answer is gonna decrease. Because I'm actually asking, what is seven eighths of three? So I don't wanna know I want a part of three, so it's definitely going to be smaller. And I have a little trick that I remember for these two. I have these are PD. PD means proper decrease. So when I multiply by a proper fraction, my answer is going to decrease. So II, improper increase, PD, proper decrease. When we look at these, I notice that 6 fifths and 8 sevenths are both improper fractions, as well as looking at 5 halves and 9 eighths. This is a mixed number and an improper fraction, which is the same thing. And it says the product of two quantities greater than one. Improper fractions are greater than one. Their numerators are greater than the denominator, which means they have a value over one it's going to result in a larger value of either factor. So when I have a, when I have the product is going to be larger than six fifths and the product would also be larger than eight sevenths. When I multiply these together, my answer is going to be greater than both of the initial factors that I use to multiply. Same thing here, my product would be greater. Five and one half times nine eighths, my product or my answer on this end would be greater. Here we have, and this would again would be, sorry, an II, an improper increase. When they are improper, the answer is gonna increase. In this situation, the answer is gonna be greater than either factor, and in this situation, the answer is gonna be greater than the initial um, quantity that I multiplied the improper fraction times, but still an increase. Here I have a proper fraction times a proper fraction. What happens when I multiply two proper fractions together? The product of two quantities between zero and one, which is a proper fraction, they are less than one. Remember, a fraction is a part of a whole. A proper fraction is part of a whole. It's not a whole, so it's less than a whole part or a whole piece. It results in a value less than either factor. So this time, when I multiply two tiny things together, my answer is going to get even smaller. So I like to tell my kids, when I multiply a piece of something, 
and I take when I take a piece of a piece I get a crumb so this is a little piece multiplied times a little piece I want to know what is one seventh of two fifths well two fifths is already a piece of something and then if somebody takes one seventh of my piece they're gonna get a crumb so a piece times a piece is a crumb but this is also a PD a proper decrease this time the product is going to be less than one seventh and the product is going to be less than two fifths the product is going to be smaller than both initial factors so let's take a look at our assignment or kind of more of a review that we have assigned it says Circle the word or phrase that matches each statement. Each statement makes each statement true. Excuse me. Write two equations to verify each statement. Number one, multiplication always, sometimes, never increases the value of a quantity. I think that we realize that multiplication does not always increase the value of a quantity. And it, we know that it sometimes increases the value of a quantity. So it just depends on what you're doing. If I multiply 2 times 3, I would get 6, which increased. Or if I multiply 2 times 2 thirds, I would get 4 thirds, which is the same as 1 and 1 third. And that's a decrease. So this is an example of an increase and this is an example of a decrease multiplication sometimes increases the value of a quantity not always number two when multiplying a quantity by a fraction in which the numerator and denominator are equal a numerator and denominator are equal that means a and b would actually be the same it would be more like a over a they're the same the value of the quantity will increase decrease or remain the same so what does that look like if I multiply 2 times 3 over 3 we all know that 3 over 3 is the same as one whole so the quantity is gonna stay the same 2 times 1 is 2 the initial quantity is the same what if I multiply 7 8 times 2 over 2 I'm going to get 14 I'm going to get 14 over 16 which we all know is the same as multiplying or if I simplify again by 2 I'm going to end up with 7 eighths which is the same as the initial quantity. Let's go on to number four. When multiplying a quantity by a fraction in which the numerator is smaller than the denominator, the numerator is smaller than the denominator, the value of the quantity will increase, decrease, or remain the same. These words sound familiar. Where can I find this? When multiplying a, fra a fraction in which the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Oh, I can find this in my notes. So if you go back to your notes, I think it's this one. When multiplying a quantity by a fraction in which the numerator is smaller, this is the exact one. So what's going to happen? Is the value going to increase, decrease, or stay the same? The value of the quantity will decrease. So the answer for number four is right in our notes number four the quantity will decrease and you can use the same examples from the flap or the notes or you can create your own so I'm going to be easy and just create use 